Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is an introduction to a new project pan that I'm starting for 2019 and it will be exclusively focusing on eyeshadows. It's called Panda's Eyeshadows. It's a project that was originally created by a YouTuber named Alexandra Stosen. I believe that's how you say her last name. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it. I will have her channel and her Panda's Eyeshadow update videos in a playlist linked in the description box. And I know that Rebecca Morgan is also doing a version of this as well. I recently watched her intro video and I thought what a fantastic way to really rotate through the eyeshadows that you own and give yourself a chance to kind of challenge yourself and play with new colors and play with new color combinations and really focus on specific eyeshadows every month. And I think they're both doing it a little bit differently and I'm going to be doing mine a little bit differently. I think if you're going to do this type of project it's important to cater it depending on how you apply makeup, how many eyeshadows you own, and just kind of figure out what would work best for you. And this really ties in nicely with the goal that I set for myself for this year where I'm trying to create more varied eyeshadow looks. I want to play around more with color. I always feel like it's the, it's the last thing I'm going to experiment with, I guess. And this is a really great chance for me to, number one, really go in and use all of the eyeshadows that I own, but also to kind of challenge myself to play with different shadows from different formulas and really get a better idea of what types of eyeshadows I like. Sorry, I got interrupted by James. Um, what I'm going to do is I have all of my eyeshadows listed out, and I have a number assigned to each one. So I'm going to take an app and randomly pick four numbers to pick four shadows, and then I'm going to add my own choice of an eyeshadow to make five eyeshadows to focus on every month. And once I hit pan on it, then I'll either focus on the other shadows or bring in a new one. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this yet. I guess it really depends on the eyeshadows that I choose. And I'm just going to go out of my way to use those more often, really play around with them, and try to create as many looks as I can using them. And if I can hit pan on some shades in the progress, that would be great. So I do have some numbers I want to share with you before we start, because of course, I don't have my contacts in. They're in my car right now, and I just do not feel like going to get them. So let's look at all of the eyeshadows I have. If you look at every shadow I own, either in a single pan or in a palette, Every pressed powder shadow I own, I have 132 total. And out of those 132 eyeshadows, I have hit pan on 8 of them. And so that is 6.06% of my eyeshadows have pan on them. I don't have a specific percentage I want to reach. I don't have a specific number of pans I want to hit by the end of the year. This is really just me getting a better idea of how quickly or slowly I hit pan on eyeshadows and really just try to make an effort to use all of the palettes that I have. I just want to bring them all together and really make sure I'm using them all. So I really only have one rule that I'm attaching to this project pan and that is if I've already hit pan on an eyeshadow and that's one that I randomly choose with my number generator then I will just disregard it and move on to another number. Uh, the point of the project pan is for me to, number one, try to hit pan on as many shadows as I can, but also um, I want to get a chance to play with more eyeshadows that I feel like sometimes I neglect. So if I've already hit pan on a shadow, I've already used it a lot, and I've already gotten a really good idea of the formula and you know whether or not like the color and stuff, so I kind of want to focus on shadows that I haven't used enough. So if I've already hit pan on it, then I won't include it in this project. I don't know how quickly or slowly I'm going to hit pan on shadows. I don't know if a month is enough for me to hit pan on something. I guess it really depends on the formula and how I can use the shadow and how much I've already used it. So I'm hoping I can hit pan on at least one shadow every month, but it's really going to depend on what I choose and, you know, there's just so many factors at play. Um, I know with Rebecca, I think she's going to bring new ones in as she hits pan, so I'm not sure. What I'll do, I guess I'll have to give you a better idea of how I do in my next update at the beginning of next month, at the beginning of February, but I'm just kind of learning as we go. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I choose. I'm really excited to go in and choose which shadows I'm going to have in the pan. So I have all of my eyeshadows over here to the side, and as I randomly pick the numbers, I'm going to show you what the eyeshadow looks like. So let's just get started. So the app I'm using is called Pretty Random. I'll have it linked below. I'll have the name at least in the description box. And I can choose the minimum and maximum of numbers. So I'm going to make the minimum one. 
and make the maximum 132. And then I'm just going to click OK and randomize. So I'm going to do it on screen. So here we go. Randomize. The number I got was 115. And 115 is a single from ColourPop in the shade Wait For It. So this is what Wait For It looks like. It's a gorgeous coral shade, and I like that it's matte. I'm, I'm hoping that I get more mattes than shimmers in this, so I'm going to put this to the side. It's beautiful. Let me do a little swatch on the back of my hand. It's a very um, like summery shade, but I can make it work. It's beautiful. And I do really think that it goes nicely with my eye color. So I'm excited to pick that one. I have used it a lot, but there's so much product in here. I can't guarantee that I'll hit pan even if I use it every day. All right, so off to a good start. Let's randomize again. 129. That one is actually a shade that I don't own yet. It's from the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette and it's the shade Strawberry Milk. It's a very beautiful pastel light pink. So I think that'll be an interesting combo with this shade right here. These are like very warm colors. I've been wearing a lot of cool toned eyeshadow palettes lately, so it'll be fun to change it up with warm. So I don't have that yet to swatch it on my hand. It's still coming in the mail, but I'll, it'll be coming pretty soon, within the next couple of days, so I can start using it immediately. Probably won't hit pan on that one after the month, unless the pan is very thin, because it's brand new. I haven't even used it yet, so that probably won't be the one that I hit pan on. Let's randomize again. Number 60. That is from the Stila Soul Palette. It's a beautiful color. It's right here in the corner of my Stila Soul Palette, and it's a beautiful light gold shade. It's very creamy and pigmented, and I think it's going to go really, really nicely with that coral shade and with that light pink shade from the Creepy Cute palette. So that's really nice. I'm very glad I got that one. So far we're off to a good start. And the fourth color that I'm going to randomly generate is going to be number 50. And that is from... Ooh, okay. I recently purchased this little Stila Duo. It is the Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Jade. So it's got two beautiful um, greens in there. One is more of like an olive green and one is more of like a warmer green. And number 50 is the right side. So it's more of like this darker olive color. I haven't had a chance to play with this that much. It is a very powdery eyeshadow. It's odd because it's very, very chalky. Like it's got a lot of pigment to it and it is a very gorgeous shade, but I do have to be careful because even when I just swatch it with my finger, I pick up a lot of product and it's very chunky, so I'll have to figure out how to work with that better. But what an interesting color combo, right? I would never think to pair like a warm peachy coral with a olive green, but that's going to be a really cool color combo and one that I can see myself working with a lot. And that gold color, that warm gold color will work with either of those shades. So I'm very excited to have a more cohesive color palette than I thought I was going to get. And we're also including that strawberry milk, that light pink color that I don't have to swatch. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I'm very excited about that. I was going to choose my own shade to add to this, but I kind of want to just randomly generate it again. And this is what Rebecca did in her video intro too. She was going to choose her own, but then she's like, you know what, I'm just going to randomly generate it. And I kind of want to do that too, because this is kind of fun. So I'm going to randomly generate it again. 126. I think that's also from the Creepy Cute palette. Planchet. I gotta look up swatches. I don't remember which one Planchet is. <gasps> Get out. Okay, Planchet is a... It's kind of like a light purple, like a lavender. It's more cool toned. I have something like it, I think. I'm gonna swatch a similar shade next to the other shades just to get her an idea. But this shade here is called Howlin by ColourPop. It's more, it's got the same level of depth. It's still a light pastel purple, but this one is warmer. This one is a lot warmer than Planchet. Planchet, I imagine, is a lot more cool toned. So that's what this all looks like together. This is really interesting. I'm very excited to pull these shades together and make different looks with them and just get a really good feel for that. 
So those are my choices for the Pan Those Eyeshadows intro. I will give a better idea of what I'm going to do every month and, you know, what kind of looks I created in my next update. I'll try to take as many photos of the looks I create as I can to show you the different color combos. You kind of have a little bit of everything here. And I think I still have an opportunity to pull in other shadows from other palettes to help create full looks. But I still feel like I can do some really cool color combos and really play around with this. So I'm very excited. A lot of these are new shadows that I haven't had a chance to play around with the formula yet. The only one I have more experience with is Vitality here from Stila in that In the Soul palette. That's one of the oldest palettes that I own and I do like that shade a lot. And Wait For It as well. I do like Wait For It already. Um, but the other three shades are basically brand new to me and I think that's a really nice way to fill out this project so let me know if you have any recommendations on how what kind of looks i can create with these and also if you have any recommendations on how to use that steela shade in a way that won't be maybe as messy i am so excited to get started on making new looks with these shades in the meantime that's everything i have thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys